Before removing the torch assembly, make sure the plasma is off. Remove the torch mount by loosening the two thumb screws located on either side of the torch. Turn the thumb screws in a counterclockwise direction. And slowly remove the torch mount assembly from the torch box. The torch is now ready to be serviced on a bench. Wear the appropriate powder-free gloves. Work with the torch on a clean surface. Angle it back 45 degrees so that it sits on the stands mounted on the torch housing. Remove the gas line connections from the torch by loosening the gas fittings on the torch stubs. Slide the fittings marked A, Auxiliary, and P, Plasma, off of the stubs. As shown in the inset, unscrew the internal Z adjustment screw all the way, counterclockwise. Then remove the torch adapter from the torch mount. With one hand holding the torch and the other holding on to the torch adapter, gently twist and pull back on the torch to separate it from the torch adapter. There are two types of injectors in torch adapters. For the ball joint type injector, loosen the injector nut counterclockwise approximately one quarter turn and remove the injector from the center of the torch adapter. For the alumina ceramic type injector, loosen the injector nut counterclockwise a quarter turn and remove the injector from the injector end of the adapter. There are two types of injectors in torch adapters. For the ball joint type injector, with a gentle twisting motion, insert the injector from the end opposite of the injector nut until it bottoms out. Gently tighten the injector nut clockwise. For the alumina ceramic type injector, insert the injector from the injector nut side with a gentle twisting motion until it bottoms out. Gently tighten the injector nut clockwise. Reassemble the torch by first sliding the internal Z adjustment nut over the torch quartz, next the white Teflon spacer, followed by the blue torch O-ring. Carefully slide the quartz torch onto the torch adapter using a gentle twisting and pushing motion. Make sure that the torch is fully seated against the torch adapter and it has no tendency to move away from the torch adapter. Verify that the position of the injector tip is approximately one millimeter below the end of the inner quartz tube. Insert the torch adapter onto the torch mount with the gas tube stubs pointing up. Slide the O-ring, Teflon spacer and internal Z adjustment nut into position and tighten the Z adjustment nut. Verify that the torch quartz and adapter are firmly attached to the torch mount. Reattach the gas lines to the torch. For the fitting marked A, place the gas tube fitting on the stub closest to the torch mount. Finger tighten the nut in a counterclockwise direction. For the fitting marked P, place the gas tube fitting on the stub closest to the torch tip. This fitting also includes the igniter pin. Finger tighten the nut in a counterclockwise direction.
The torch assembly is now ready to be installed in the instrument. Carefully reinstall the torch mount assembly into the torch box. Turn the two thumb screws clockwise until they are tight. And then turn them two more full revolutions clockwise until they click twice.